senses. Just one answer. Why? Look, I didn't want to have to do this. I didn't want to think about it, but... But... When the prodigal son returned, he was greeted by his father with gratitude and love. And I'm just asking you, really asking you to love me. It's a pipe dream, everyone. I, everyone I, I know says it is, but I know this isn't, or I want this to not be. It's just so, so stressful. And I, I, can't, I can't even say Jesus Christ. I'm just so emotional these days and I hope you forgive me, but you know, it's been hard and I just need some help and you know everything. I have this voice in my head. You, it's probably not you. Maybe it's in your planet, it's in my head, but you didn't have to know the specifics. You probably know what it's about, but what I want to know is why? Why can I just, I don't know, get, get it out of my head, get myself out of my head. And just live my life in peace and not worry about the shit I did, do, and will do. It's exhausting to have to think about it because I know what's right, what's just, and I still get stuff wrong somehow. <laughs> Is there something wrong with me? Wrong with all of this? I'm supposed to know better, know that what I did was wrong, especially in this age, but I knew that I was as careful as I could possibly be, but I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's black from white on this, and I don't know if the words I said then were right, because I don't know things about anything. Is this so wrong to try to find the morality in this, this gray spot? Damned if I do, damned if I don't, damned if I try to make amends, damned if I don't. Where is the distinction in this? Where is the line? Because I had this, this idea to maybe clarify things, that things would be right if I did, but I'm scared that... I might have intended to do those things and call me a, a masochist, but I don't want to live like that again. I don't want to do bad things again. I don't want to just, just, I know I should clear my name. maybe find a way to help myself in this but I feel like a little kid again when
And my mother told me to defend myself against an accusation and I I couldn't love the words. <laughs> you know what that voice tells me to do too? It tells me that I'm worthless, that I'm damned, and and maybe it's right. And that's why I go along with stupid shenanigans, and I do the wrong stuff because it feels good to give people a reason to hate me. So I have a reason to hate me. I've been reading Shakespeare and I've been thinking about the whole, um, you know, speech in Hamlet and um, it went like, whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to bear arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. I could end this whole thing this mess with Sam, but I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like, like, I should push them away. I make things so much harder for myself by not forgiving myself of my mistakes. And it'd be so simple to solve them, but I don't somehow. I'm not ready to. I don't think they are too. I don't know what to do. And Just say something. Something that'll tell me that I don't deserve this. That I'm good. That I'm just. <laughs> I could sup all day and not fix it, but the truth is that I tried. <laughs> I tried the last time this happened and I still don't know what I'm supposed to do and I just, you just, you look at me with those cold, innocent eyes and I'm jealous, I'm jealous that, that you can be so good you know the right thing to do, and, and me. Please. I need to know now, more than ever, what am I supposed to do?
What am I to do with my life? So that's just it then. There's nothing for me here except me moping around and bumbling through it all in. Maybe, maybe, <laughs> I just, I need, I just need an answer, okay? Just one answer. How will I know? <laughs>